a very good morning to all today we are going to start with the new chapter chapter number 11 and the name of the chapter is weather and seasons so first of all let me ask you how is the weather today so just look outside and see how's the weather today so in your page number 107 there is a question for you how is the weather today so is it sunny or is it cloudy or is it windy so how's the weather so you can tick the right one here so do you know how was the weather yesterday so is the weather same all the time no right it changes frequently so weather changes from day to day and time to time so if it is sunny in the morning it can be cloudy by the evening so the weather does not remain the same it changes from day to day or time to time so the weather changes frequently so what is weather then weather means the condition of the atmosphere of a particular place at a particular time that is called weather so here see the term atmosphere so what is atmosphere so our earth earth is our planet and the earth is surrounded by a layer of gases so the layer of gases that surrounds the earth that we call it as atmosphere so what is weather the condition of the atmosphere of a particular place at a particular time that is weather so weather does not remain the same it changes all the time it changes frequently it can be sunny it can be windy it can be cloudy so it changes day to day and time to time most of the weather condition are caused by the air around us so we all know that air is all around us air is everywhere can we see air no we cannot see air we cannot touch air but we can feel air which means air is all around us so most of the weather conditions are caused by the air around us so see the first point if air becomes warm what happens if the air around us is warm then the weather is warm the weather becomes warm then if air moves fast the weather becomes windy so we learned that the moving air is called wind if the air around us moves fast it becomes windy see if air becomes cold the weather is cold so what happens if the air around is very cold what happened the weather becomes cold so this means that most of the weather conditions are caused by the air around us now let's learn about humid so have you heard the term humid so when do we say the weather is humid so when do we say it is a humid weather so the word humid is used to describe when the air contains large amount of water vapor when the air contains large amount of water vapor we call it as humid then the other thing is during a humid day during this day it is very very warm and even we sweat a lot during this period then the places which are near to the sea will have humid weather throughout the year you know why we learned that the heat from the sun changes water which is present in ocean river lake sea into water vapor so what happens to this water vapor this water vapor rises upwards and it mixes with the air so places which are near to the sea have humid weather throughout the year so humid which means humid weather we say the air contains large amount of water vapor so the weather changes very frequently it does not remain the same throughout so it changes from day to day and time to time so that is about weather in page number 108 there is an activity for you wind direction finder for doing this activity you need the following materials 
a broomstick which is about 15 cm long, a pencil with an eraser, a pin, a bottle, some sand or soil, then thick paper. So with these materials you can do this and the steps for doing this activity is also given. You can just try doing this activity. Now let's move to the another topic that is about seasons. So you all know about the different seasons, right? So when the weather condition exists for many weeks, we call it as seasons. So in India, we have three main seasons. You know which are the three main seasons? That is the summer season, monsoon season, that is also called as rainy season, then winter season. So which are the three seasons? Summer, monsoon and winter. In India, we have the three main seasons are summer, monsoon and winter. So these seasons comes one after the other. So after summer, it is followed by monsoon, then after that, winter. So one after the other, the seasons come. So seasons comes one after the other. And the three main seasons are summer, monsoon and winter. Let's learn about summer season. So do you know when is our summer season starts? It starts from March and lasts till June. So what is special about summer? What comes to your mind when you think of summer season? It is very hot, right? These days are very hot. Summer season means it is a season when it is very hot. The days are sunny and warm. And the other important thing is the days are long and the nights are short. So have you ever thought why these months are very hot? More heat from the sun reaches this region. So that is why during this season it is very very hot. So that is about summer season. So summer season it begins from March and lasts till June. And this season it is very very hot. The days are very warm and sunny. Then why it is hot? It is hot because the sun because the heat from the sun reaches this region. So that is why during this season it is very hot. It is followed by which season? The monsoon season or the rainy season. So do you know when the season begins? The season begins from May or June and it lasts till September. And this is the season when it is rainy. And and the other important thing is that during this rainy season or during the monsoon season, there is a large amount of water vapor in the air. So during this time, there is humid weather. So what type of weather? What kind of weather do we have in rainy season? Humid weather. Why? Because large amount of water vapor will be present in the air. So that during this period, we have humid weather. And the other important thing is that during rainy season, you should not go out when there is lightning. It is dangerous. So when it is lightning, you should not go out. So that is about the monsoon season. Then comes the witch season. That is the winter season. So the winter season begins from December and it lasts till March. And this winter season is the season when it is cold, right? It is a season when it is cold. So do you know why it is cold during winter season? Because less heat from the sun reaches this region. So that is why during these months it is very cold. In India, there are places where it is extremely cold. In that places, there will be snowfall. So the winter season means a season when it is very cold. So why it is cold? Because less heat from the sun reaches this region. Then another important thing is that all parts of our country do not have similar weather condition. For example, let's take Rajasthan. 
in Rajasthan, the condition, the weather condition during summer is very hot and during winter it is very cold. Then let's take the example of Kerala. In Kerala, there is mild summer and winter is not very cold. So different parts of our country do not have the similar weather condition. It varies. So that is about the three different seasons. So which are the three seasons in our country? That is the summer season, the winter season and the monsoon. So summer season, it is very hot. What about winter season? It is cold. Then about rainy season, it is raining during these months. Now let's move to another topic that is about seasons affect living things. So you all know what are living things. Plants, animals, human beings, all are living things. So how living things are affected by seasons? Or how seasons affect living things? So let's discuss about that. So the first thing is that there are some trees that shed their leaves or some trees lose their leaves during winter. For example, let's take the example of the deciduous forest. So deciduous forest is found in region where there is cold winter. So the trees which are in this forest, in the deciduous forest, they shed their leaves during winter. So the season affects plants. The next thing, there are some plants that flower only in summer. For example, the gulmoha tree that flower only in summer. Even there are some plants that flower only in winter. So seasons affect plants. Then see, you can see the picture of different fruits. Apples, watermelons, mangoes. So apples, what about apples? They ripen in winter. So the best time to grow apples is during winter. Then what about melons, watermelons and mangoes? You can see lot of mangoes and watermelon during summer time. Why? Because they ripen during summer season. Then what about crops? What about rice? Rice grows during rainy season. Then what about wheat? It grows in winter. So plants are affected by seasons. Or we can say seasons affect plants. Now let's discuss about animals. How seasons affect animals. For example, birds such as the Siberian cranes. They live in cold places. And they fly to warmer places during winter season. During winter time, they fly to warmer places. Then, what about frogs? So you can see frog on both land and water. So these frogs remain underground during summer and winter. Why? Because during summer it is very hot and during winter it is very cold. So the frog cannot bear either the cold or hot weather. So that is why it remains underground during these seasons. That is summer and winter. So when it is rainy season, this becomes active. The frog becomes active during the rainy season. So animals are also affected by seasons. Now let's talk about human beings. What about us? How are we affected by seasons? Even it affects our habits. So during, let's take winter season. So winter season, we know it is very cold. So we all love to sleep for a longer period of time. So as it is very cold outside, we all love to sleep for a long time. Then the other thing is, during the winter time, it is very cold. We all wear woolen clothes. Why do we wear woolen clothes? To keep our body warm. To keep our body from extreme cold. So to keep our body warm, we all wear woolen clothes. Then during this time, it is very cold. So we all love to have something which is very hot. Right. So we all love to have warm food. Then what about in summer season? Summer season, how it affect human beings? 
So we know that summer it is very hot. So during the season we all love to wear cotton clothes. Why? To keep our body cool. It is very hot outside and to keep our body cool we all love to wear cotton clothes. So what about our food? So we all love to have something which is very cold. So we used to eat lots of fruits like watermelons, mangoes, etc. Even we drink plenty of water. It keeps us cool. So even the seasons affect human beings. So seasons affect all living things. Let it be plants, animals or human beings. Living things are affected by seasons. So this is our chapter weather and seasons. So here we learnt about weather. Then in that we learnt that weather changes frequently. It does not remain the same. Then we learnt about the three different seasons. So which are the three different seasons? Summer, monsoon and winter. Then what did we learn? Then we learnt about how seasons affect living things. So it affects plants, animals and human beings. In page number 110, there is a box given. Did you know? The fur of arctic fox is white and blends with snow during the winter season. Then, what happens in summer? In summer, it changes to brown. In page number 111, you can see the keywords given. See the first one, weather. So what is weather? Weather means the condition of the air around us. So weather can be, it can be sunny, cloudy or windy. Then humid. So what is humid? A weather condition in which air contains lot of water vapor. Then what is water vapor? The gaseous form of water. Then windy. A weather condition in which strong wind blows. Then season, the period of the year having certain weather conditions that we call it as season. Then below that you can see a box, remember, here it is given seasons. We have the summer season followed by monsoon, followed by winter season. Again it continues, again summer season. So seasons comes one after the other. In page number 109, you can see a box given. Take the correct answer. In May, the city of Udaipur has hot weather. What season is it? What season is that? We have three options. Early winter, summer, winter. So what is the answer? It is summer. So during summer, we have hot weather. See the second question. Ahmedabad city has three seasons. It receives rain from June to September. What kind of season will have in November? So what kind of season this place have during November? So three options are given. Summer, monsoon, winter. So which season do they have? They have winter. In this region, the winter starts from November till February. So this region will have winter during November. So we are done with the chapter. We'll discuss the exercise in the next class. Till then, thank you.